I finished Crazy Love today, which was amazing, and I'm going to make a whole vlog on my Million Voices 13 channel about, like, the book and my opinion of it, because some parts of it I didn't totally agree with. I feel like as Christians, our entire lives cannot be about, like, praying and going to church and reading our Bibles, because we have to have jobs, and not everyone can be a missionary, not everyone can be a preacher. That's a good thing. We need to have Christians as salt to the earth and light to the world everywhere in every work environment. And so, is it wrong that I'm spending time editing my videos and not, like, praying to God all day? Like, no, it's not wrong. And the book kind of made it seem like if God, if you're not, like, in this, like, in love relationship with God all the time, that you're, like, doing something wrong. And, I don't know, it just, I didn't really agree with that. I felt like that was kind of, like, weird. Like, Colossians 3.23 says, work at everything with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. And so everything in our life can be about God, even though it's not directly about our relationship with God. And then I watched a Francis Chan sermon, and Francis Chan has so many online sermons because people at his church, like, film him. And I really encourage you guys, if you're Christians, to, like, look up Francis Chan, and, like, all these different sermons will come up. And I was watching one on marriage, and it was really good. And it was so cool because his wife was there, and, like, she spoke, he spoke, then she spoke, then he spoke. And it was just so awesome because at my church like women aren't allowed to talk so it was just so awesome seeing someone who like believes in baptism and like believes everything my church does but doesn't just like completely like hate on women sort of so I really appreciated that I thought it was awesome right now I'm cleaning my room if you see because my laundry I never put away so huh I need a hanger <laughs> Oh, I have too many clothes. Like, I seriously need to do a giveaway in my closet. Like, in my next video, instead of giving away what I was gonna give away, like, just give away my clothes. Like, who wants my shirts? <laughs> oh, the other thing I wanted to say was that Francis Chan has a daughter named um, Rachel Chan, and I will pull up. There we go. Well, that's Rachel Chan, and her album came out this year. It's called Go, and it has these songs on it. And in Prove It, it is a song about like how guys need to prove it, that they will love us instead of just like saying the right things and like wooing us on and Francis Chan did a rap part in it which really wasn't a rap but it was so cute and anyway she is such an awesome Christian and they have the best parents ever I need to get some food oh I got these really cool new um Morningstar I feel like every single vlog I'm talking about Morningstar but seriously it's what I eat okay Morningstar tomato and basil pizza burgers I'm really excited to try them out right now there's a lizard in my room and Christmas is going after it he was actually taking a nap so I picked him up and brought him in here to get the lizard because I usually just pick up the lizards with my hands because they're like little they're not scary but this one is just going so fast that I can't even catch it uh oh he lost it I think this stupid lizard. Oh, did you kill it? Okay. There it is. No, 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 catch it. Oh, I got it. Okay, let's go. Lizzie, do you want to be on my video, lizard? What's your name? Yay, this you shall be Florida. free. You shall be free. <laughs> he doesn't look very lively. He still has his tail? Yeah, Christmas didn't even kill his tail. Yeah. Look. Christmas is like, I'm gonna find the lizard! I'm gonna find the lizard! And he'll be like that for an hour, and then he'll finally just forget about that he ever saw the lizard in the first place. Oh, poor Christmas. He's still looking for the lizard, and he doesn't realize that it's outside. You know, if lizards were like ants, then they wouldn't come into our house, because ants communicate to each other, and they're like, hey, there's food over here. Let's go in here. And so the lizards would be smart if they would be able to communicate and be like hey there's a huge cat that eats us inside the house don't go inside the house but they don't have a big lizard family that communicates with each other so christmas continually gets to have so much fun every time one comes in the house